All right, we're back with uh, Ohana with some trailer work. If you hear a horse calling out, that's Skip. He gets a little concerned when people start moving around, but he usually stops. So we're gonna pick up where we left off with this trailer training stuff. Uh, I had somebody ask me if I had anything in the past about uh, how I worked with her, so I didn't. I don't think I do. And so what I'm going to do today is just try to lay out the basics. We'll see how she does. The goal today is to get her in and keep her in. And um, she's had a bunch of other stuff done, so I'm hoping that bit of groundwork and things like that will apply here. So let's get on with it. So that's great progress. She's uh, maintained what she was taught. So my next step is to just lay this over her back. And maybe just hang out with her a little bit. Right? Yeah, I'll just kind of... So far so good. I'm actually quite happy with this. I'm just gonna nonchalantly hang out over here. <laughs> Skip still feels the need to call out. See how far we can go. Uh, I'd like to be able to lock her in.
She's actually doing very, very well, so... So, uh, I don't know if I want to push it completely, but we'll keep her in here as long as possible. She's getting a nice meal out of it, so... Nothing wrong with that. Let's bring her back around. <laughs> You're backwards. <laughs> Let's bring her out. Good girl. Oh, Luke's calling out too. That's good. All right, back in we go. Come on. Well, I don't think I've ever seen her load like this before. Good girl. Yeah. Oh, for Pete's sake. So, I keep trying. Come back out. It's good practice anyways. You're kind of on the wrong side. Let's see if I can just drive her in. <laughs> good girl. You are so good. You have no idea how good you are. Okay, come on out. <laughs> what do you mean, no? You ever come out? So? Everybody's watching? <laughs> this is what it looks like from my view. Uh, Take the video of these characters. There's those two there. And then over there. <laughs> these two are the cutest though. Alright. <laughs> Going out? Alright, well turn back around then. this a, a pretty good success. So. Good girl. Come here, you. You're a good girl. Yes. Pretty 
good. I actually am always going over, you know, when you're working with horses, how much should you push? How far can you go? What should you do? And there's a side of me that just says, you know, if I just leave her here, and I slowly make my way away, every time she turns back, I might step away. A little more. She maintains. A little more. Oh no. It's a nice picture. So let's turn her back around. Come on, silly. Come around. Go, go, Block. Oh, no. oh. I was late. Okay, come here. Come back around. ruin a good thing. I'll leave on a nice good note. I'm a ways away. I made it all the way back to the camera. <laughs> now this way of working with it, obviously you have to be in an enclosed area. But she can come out on her own and that's okay. I pet her. Tell her she's a big girl. She's done very, very well. One more time. call it a success for now and I'm going to come back to this later but I might get one more time or turn you around Yeah, I'm back at the camera. There she is, which is about 30 to 40 feet away. I'm zoomed all the way in here. So I'm pretty happy with this, I gotta say. So we'll continue this another time, maybe. Let's wait for her to come out. I don't know how long this will take. <laughs> Hopefully a long time. It's got lots to eat. So it's a little bit of a cheat in a way. Um, but I think it's a good cheat. I'll just stay over here and I'll just be behind the camera. Just uh, 
So actually, I was going to cover one more thing while we're doing this. And uh, some people will say, well, why don't you just tie them? And uh, I consider that a big cheat. And once in a while, you have to do it. I did it when I had to bring Gracie home. And I tied her and she pulled briefly and then and she knew she was stuck. But it never goes, it never sticks. That stuff doesn't stick. You can tie a horse and, and have them learn to tie and stuff. It's not really the place you want them to learn how to tie. But if they're going to learn to tie, they could tie in a trailer for sure. Um, but I'd like for her to just kind of be in there. And uh, not feel like she has to escape or something like that. Uh, without time. And she can choose. She can come out if she wants. I think that free will is a good thing in training. In this training process. So I'll never tire during this. And I know she goes places. So I know I can get this done. Um, but I, uh, I don't tie my horses anyways when I trailer them. Uh, I always consider it uh, one of those things that if you get in an accident your horse is all tied up. Uh, even if it's sort of a breakaway thing, if you think about it, if you put a breakaway on, then what's the purpose of tying them in the first place? Um, and so, ideally, you'd want your horse just to stand in there, you close the gate up, you close the doors, and they're just content munching away on whatever they've got to eat. And in such a case, then, training just says, don't tie them. Get them good with this. Take the time to do it. I think it's valuable, personally. And uh, that's what I'll be doing. So, so far so good. I imagine I could probably close the doors at this point, but not the divider. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. Here I just want to, I want to take her out while she's good actually, now that I think about it even further. So while she's munching and enjoying that, I'm going to uh, wander in there and say, okay, time to come out. Not as graceful as I'd like her to be. I'm gonna make sure the gate's closed. It is. And uh, let her go. You were a good girl. Just gonna hang on just for a second. I wanna pet her while I'm letting her go. Where? Okay, you're free. <laughs> she really snugged up to the camera there. Got me worried for a second. So we'll see if she rolls or whatever she does. Release a little energy. She's got a full tummy, that's for sure. And uh, I just got her out of a nap as well. She's napping. So. so I should probably have a roll and then we'll that'll call it a, a good training session. Next time I bet it'll be even better. And pretty soon we'll be out and about. Just waiting for the roly poly. Just trying to have a drink from the water fountain. No running around this time. So far. Just a good looking horse. So trailer training takes time, takes patience, um, but she'll get there. I'm positive of it. It'll be a good thing. No, well, no roly poly. I guess we'll end that there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions, of course, as always, put them in the comments.